Uh, what can you tell us? Well, same thing that Ashley did. I, I mean, I can't tell you any different right now other than, uh, you know, here's a whole other neighborhood. Our whole community shook up yet again and our officers yet again. I mean, we just got, we just got done with phenomenal work uh, from another unfortunate homicide. And now we're dealing with three, uh, three people who were shot here. Okay, and you can't tell us the condition of the victims? I, I can't right now. I mean, okay. we, we got here essentially at the same time, and, and, I, and I know that, uh, that two of them had rushed off before we even got here, and I'm not sure on the third status. Okay, so two, two have been taken to the hospital? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, this is emotionally taxing for officers. We know that you guys are working hard on these scenes, and I can't even imagine... Uh, just the emotion that comes with this. It, it is. It's, it's, I was just talking to the officer that you, you saw as, as right before I walked up here, and you know they, they don't get any sleep. They take it personal. They take it home to their family. Um, so again, it's not just this one block. This is an entire city that's affected. An entire police department is affected by this, uh, and it's senseless. These are all senseless. Every one of these can absolutely be avoided. No matter what the circumstances were here, somebody could have walked away. And more importantly, people here, they know. They know exactly what happened here, and yet here we are, like pulling teeth, trying to get people to talk to us, and that should not happen. Neighbors cared about each other, they'd be telling us what happened, so it wouldn't happen somewhere else or again. Yeah, you heard comments, at least I did, um, somebody rushing up, it looked like maybe it was a family member saying, oh, that was my sister's house, it was a drug house. I don't know if you've heard of any of those kinds of I mean, I heard people yeah. saying that or whatever, but if that's the case, then why didn't we know about it before? Or, may, you know, yeah. may, people need to be telling us things before something bad happens. We don't want to be arresting people. We don't want to be uh, put, taking people to the hospital. We don't want to, you know, be notifying family members that something bad has happened. That 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 can all be avoided so simply. But pulling that trigger, you don't get a do-over. I know you've heard me say it a million times. Well, here's a million and one. You, you don't get a do-over. That bullet leaves that barrel. It doesn't come back. You can wish it all you want, but it's not coming back. So when are you guys expected to release more information? Uh, again, this is still in the infancy stages right now. We're trying to piece whatever happened together on our own. Uh, we are not getting a lot of cooperation out here, um, and that's just from my personal observation. Uh, I know we're working uh, two areas right now. We're uh, at the hospital trying to get information from hopefully some family members that may have shown up, uh, and then still trying to work with, with some neighbors around here. Do you guys have any other questions? I'm, I mean, I think you've covered all the bases. It's just very frustrating. I just got back from the crime stats meeting over at the police department. It's like now the numbers continue to rise. It is, and, and I, I can just tell you, just known, known shots fired incidents in the last 30 days is 112. 112 incidents, and that's known. Uh, we don't know about the ones that are not in our shot spotter area or people who didn't call in that, that aren't in, a, in the area. To, and, and people becoming so accustomed to gunfire, uh, kind of like a car alarm back in the old days, not even so desensitized to it. That should not be happening. That, those those bullets are not forgiving. They're going to land somewhere. If it's not in a person, it's in a vehicle. If not in a vehicle, it's in a house. It's going to be somewhere or someone, and it doesn't need to be happening. There's obviously group violence interventionists on scene with SAVE, and they were just shaking their heads tonight. It, um, again, probably responding to yet another shooting, right? It is, and that's and I classify that as well, along with the community and the police department. They, they, they come out to almost every single one that, that we have to contend with. Um, and again, they, we're preventing a lot of the stuff. They're preventing a lot of the stuff. So I, I can never give you a number of how much has been prevented. All you can see is the aftermath of ones that haven't been prevented yeah. or that nobody cares to, to discuss or to intervene in before something bad happens. Before somebody steps out with a gun, somebody knows something's going to happen, yet doesn't, they don't say anything and lets it happen. Then, of course, you have the retaliation and then the subsequent ret retaliation and the vicious cycle continues. That it, It's just, I don't care who you are, how you were raised, where, what, anything, that is wrong. Morally, ethically, decent human being standards, it is wrong. But what else would you like to share with us? And that's pretty much it right now. I mean, you know how, how I can get. I, I know that we are having a press conference tomorrow, uh, coincidentally. Okay. Um, and I'm sure there'll probably be a bit more added to that tomorrow.